Amazon Kindles make it easy to find any book in the world, but if you'd rather convert your books to PDFs, it might not seem so easy. Here's what you need to know. The first thing you need to do is find your Kindle's files if you don't already have them on hand. You'll find everything in a folder titled My Kindle Content on Windows or Mac. You can find this folder's exact location on Kindle's desktop app. On Windows, you can find this by clicking on Tools at the top left, then selecting Content. On macOS, you can find this by clicking on the Kindle menu in the top left, then selecting Preferences. Once you've found your Kindle library, you can convert them to PDF via Calibre, an open source digital library software available for multiple platforms. Just click on the first link in the description below to download and install the software. If your library contains .kfx files, you'll need to install a .kfx plugin on the app. Once Calibre is installed, open it, click on the arrow next to the Preferences icon in the top row, then click on Get Plugins to enhance Calibre. On the window that pops up, search for the plugin by name at the top right by typing in KFX, then tapping Enter. Install both KFX input and output from the list, clicking through the mornings. For both plugins to work, you'll also need to install Kindle Previewer 3. You can find the official installer via the second link in the description below. Once both apps are installed, restart Calibre and add in your books via Add Books at the top left. You can convert them by selecting all the ebooks you want to convert, then click Convert Books. To convert all of your files to a PDF format, just click on the drop down menu under Output in the top right, then select PDF. If you know what you're doing, feel free to look through the other settings. Otherwise, just click OK and you're all set. Your converted files can be found in your Calibre Library folder. To check where that is, just click on Calibre Library from the app's main screen. You'll find each file in a folder labeled after each author. Finally, if these methods didn't work, do remember that some ebooks are protected by DRM to combat digital piracy and thus cannot be converted or copied. If you like this guide, make sure you subscribe for all sorts of videos covering Kindles and other technology. And don't forget to check out one of these videos we think you might enjoy.